Good evening and welcome to Greater Somerville. I'm Kyan Anderson. <clears throat> Tonight's topic, Community Cooks of Somerville, and how this local nonprofit organization is making a difference by providing home-cooked meals to hungry and vulnerable, vulnerable neighbors in our community. While the holiday season is definitely behind us, it's important for us to remember that the winter season and winter months are still in full force, as we know. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are in need. And so here at Greater Somerville, we wanted to highlight um, some of those nonprofit groups that really do make a difference uh, by the things that they do, um, not just in the winter, but all year round. Um, tonight's guest, Elizabeth Shaw Caffrey, is a member of the Community Cooks of Somerville. And she's been active in the organization for a couple of years. And I wanted to, um, so just please join me in welcoming Elizabeth on her debut appearance here on Greater Somerville. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Here we are. Yes. I hope everyone can hear us. Um, so for those of you at home that might be looking at this woman and being like, wow, she looks very familiar. We had a little technical snafu. And Elizabeth came here uh, in December, and we recorded the show pre-holiday season. Yes. And, um, and we had a little technical snafu, and we couldn't hear her. So because of the important work that they do, because of the just need to get the word out about community cooks, um, we invited her back, and she graciously came back. And here we are, and we're mic'd up, and I'm hoping everyone can hear us uh, because this is a really important episode. That being said, um, we are not having callers because, you know what, we are not recording live right now. I know, I probably shouldn't tell you that. I was going to have you call in, but you know what? I don't want you to call in and be frustrated because we're not going to pick up because we won't be here. Maybe that was an overshare. But anyway, um, so let's get right into it. Background information. I like to find out about my guests as to why they do what they do and uh, where they came from. And Elizabeth, we're going to start with a couple questions. You already okay. know some of these, so yes. whatever. You came to Somerville in uh, June of 2010. Yes. Um, moved from the Medford side of Ball Square, where okay. I've been there for seven years. Oh, wow. So you've been here for a while. Yes. But you're a native of Long Island. Yes. Which so. means you're tough, thick-skinned. Uh, yes, I should be. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in the mall. A lot of time in the mall. Um, so, senior consultant at Communispace yes. in the Innovation District. Yes. Very trendy. Yes. And now, where is that? It's the Four Point area, right okay. near South Station. Okay. Um, where everything's going up. Everything's going. A lot of great restaurants. So much building, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And tell me about this Communispace. What is, what is that? So, exactly? we're a consumer collaboration agency. So, we work with different clients, companies, to bring the voice of the consumer to their everyday decisions. Okay. So, oh, okay. Um, and it's, you know, whether to help them optimize products, messaging, just how they can research and mine the uh, consumer to uh, make better business decisions. Oh, okay. So you assist startup companies. Yes. Okay. And there's one in Somerville, right? I mean, isn't there a start? There's like a lot of these incubator spaces are kind of popping up in a lot of different areas, yes, right? Yes, and there's like a, green, a Greenland. Yeah. Wonderful. Maybe yeah. you'll come over some. Come over the river. Um, <clears throat> so you are a graduate from Boston University. Yes, went there for my master's. That's what yep. brought me up here. Yeah, I was going to say, what did you get your background? What's your you? Um, I have a bachelor's in marketing and then a master's from BU in applied communication research. Oh wow! So fancy word for market research. Market research. Yes. Okay. So you got involved with community cooks. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get involved? What was the? You must be a good cook. I'm assuming so. I can follow a recipe very well. Yeah, that's she how I is. Say Translation, it. folks. She's yes. a good cook. But anyway, okay. So how did you get? How do you hear about the organization, and then how did you get involved? Sure. So I was at a farmers market here in Union Square. Great farmers they, market. Terrific. And they had just a little tent set up, and they mm -hmm. were just kind of talking about the organization, um, handing out flyers, and I took one, went to the website, mm -hmm. um, which we'll have information on later. Yes, and it just seemed something that was easy because I just I find it hard sometimes to work try to live a life and then also volunteer it's just there's not enough hours you don't like day. yeah you don't like yeah. your life to be crazy exactly you want balance what's that no I'm just kidding yeah. so <laughs> I but this allows for that it allows for that because I was th their whole thing is you do it on your time yeah it's just so I could integrate it easily into my month because that you cook once a month you cook once a month, and yes. we'll get into that a little yeah. bit later as far as, uh, but okay, so so far so good. You like it. You've signed up. How many years? A couple years. Over about two and a half years. Wow. Yeah. And you don't think it takes too much of your time. I mean, I think that's the really the big thing here, because I, I agree with you. I think 
there are so many organizations in our community and for you to be able to decipher okay what's the one you know obviously there are things that flexibility balance mm -hmm. um, those are all great things but you know and if you're a good cook um, it's great that you were able to find something that kind of suited yes. you mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about community cooks sure. a little bit um, refresh ourselves <laughs> second time around um, so community cooks is a network of volunteers offering home-cooked meals to hungry and vulnerable neighbors in our community. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically neighbors helping neighbors. Yes, and we work with um, agencies. So it's not as if you wouldn't make a meal for someone down the street. It is all people yeah. who are in programs. So it's Somerville, Cambridge-based um, direct service, trans like homes, transitional homes, and such. Okay, so you basically are, I don't want really to say the middle person. Well, you're not really the middle person, but you you assist the organizations which assist yes, the people. Exactly. So it's not like you're going to be like cooking for a family for it, not to say that you aren't indirectly so. Right, but you, you and <clears throat> so like names aren't shown since you're yep. delivering to the program itself, not individuals. Okay. And so um, you mentioned a couple of things. So this this was started in, it's a 501c3, mm -hmm. started in 1991. Yes. And um, we already talked about the mission, but it's the, it, Providing it's a network of volunteers who offer free home cooked meals to the vulnerable population seeking assistance from direct service agencies in Greater Boston. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of exciting. Community Cooks, if I remember correctly, yes. is it started in Somerville. Yes. So it is now. What now? There's. A, it, I think it's in a number of. Um, oh, it's it's. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's in Boston, Lowell, um, Cambridge. Somerville so it's expanded Lynn. considerably, yes. but the hub is here, which mm -hmm. I think is a really important point. Yeah. Um, what a wonderful idea. So you, um, you, know, you partner with agencies uh, that, due to the lack of funds and or facilities. So, for example, like Somerville Homeless Coalition, yes. it may have an issue. I mean, do they typically provide their own food and then say if they have like a they have to tighten their belts a little bit for a couple of months. Is that where you guys come in, or we can do that way? But what they try to do is to ex establish long-term commitments, so that way, because Somerville Homeless Coalition is actually the organization where they first partnered. It's where it all started. Oh, wonderful! With okay. The group. And so it's they could know that on Wednesdays they don't have to dip into their own resources, like their pantries or whatever, to cook. That they know that that meal is taken care of. So, so you schedule that out. Yes, and so the hope is that they can stretch their limited funds further. Okay, so how does that so how does that work? Do they just call you up? Yep, organizations can call community cooks. Sometimes cooks will hear of an organization and recommend them to try to partner. Okay. Um, and now, how many employee are there? Employees with community cooks, or there are three employees for three over five hundred volunteers. See, now that's what I find amazing is the fact that not only did we, I'm saying we, <laughs> but Somerville start yes. this organization, but you are now like organizing, putting all these things mm -hmm. in motion, and you have, what, three, or three uh, employees, employees yes. for all these people mm -hmm. that are cooking. Uh, that's, it's got to be incredibly organized. It, it has to be. I can't imagine the wow. spreadsheets they have. I know. I like, know. I'm like, I'm thinking, wow, that's spreadsheet. That's kind of, yeah. okay. So, um, so now, what is it? Okay, so the people at home are like, oh, wow, what a great organization. I could feel mm -hmm. really good if I volunteered. So yes. as far as you know, someone at home that's like, how do I get involved with this? Like, mm -hmm. it could be a little intimidating. Do you just go to the website or the, the what website do you do? is the easiest place to go? There's you can, um, it's www.communitycooks.org. .org, okay. And there's, we'll put that on the blog. A little form to fill out um, because you have to, we, the community cooks just wants to understand your comfort level. So, are you okay making meat because we welcome vegetarian cooks? Because, yeah. and so. Um, how much can you spend? Because obviously, a main dish costs more than dessert. Mm -hmm. um, because the one thing is that not only are you giving your time, yep. you do purchase the food with which you cook. So okay. There is a monetary component to it as well. Okay. So and it, but it's monthly. So okay. So someone will contact someone at Community yes. Cooks and say, "I want to participate," and then you get a form and you can say. I want to make a dessert, or I want to make a whole mm -hmm. meal, mm -hmm. or and I can make it on a specific day. Now, this exactly. is where it's like you have to commit to one day a month, which I think is is reasonable yes. to cook and deliver. And you yes. also deliver, so you cook the food, 
Yes. And you can kind of pick whatever, or do you have to fall within a certain, I mean, can you get a little crazy with the food? Or, you can I mean, get a little crazy. They not too much. Not too much, not too crazy. Not too hot. Yes, exactly. The spices, just because they have lots of different okay. palettes, so they try, it's not the best place to try out the latest Experimental? Yes, yeah, no. probably not. It's not Asian fusion, <laughs> wouldn't go over well. <laughs> um, yeah, well, so are you getting a lot of like, are there any gluten requests? I mean, yes, there are gluten free really? requests. Di okay. uh, sugar free. Uh huh. Um, is are the two biggest requests we get. Sugar free and gluten free. Gluten -free. Mm -hmm. And so, what does it typically cost if you were to say, "I want to participate and cook one day a month," which is really a minimal commitment? Mm -hmm. um, what does it cost for like a whole meal? I mean, obviously, it depends on what you get, but um, probably up to fifty to sixty to feed twelve to fifteen. And so, and everybody does a little part. It's not as if that's what you're doing. So you're feeding 12 to 15 people. Yes, and you'd make dessert for 12 to 15 people or make a vegetable for 12 to 15 But what about if you decided to stick to everything? You were going to do the whole meal. Yes. You were going to do like the meal and dessert and whatever. Mm -hmm. What are the components? Meal. So, so it's a main dish, yep. uh, pasta, green, vegetable, dessert. And that all around 50 to 60. Yes. That's completely doable. Mm -hmm. So, and then you deliver it, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll deliver it the, usually the morning of. Um, the morning of? Yes. Or the night before. It depends on when someone's there to receive it. Oh, okay. So you can cook it like, so you could do it on a weekend. Like yes. you would schedule a Monday. I'm, not, I'm just, I know, these are details that maybe you at home don't want to know. But I think like, you know, logistically people would probably cook on a, you know, Sunday. That, and then yes. like Monday morning they could bring it. So it doesn't yes. have to be like hot. Like I envision right. like, yeah, no. you know, like pizza delivery people. And you're like, nope. have to make it steaming hot to get in your car. Yeah. And oh, well that yeah. takes the pressure off. Yeah. Just better be good. Right. And so I find I just, when I do my grocery shopping for myself on the weekend, yep. I'll buy it then. And yeah. then there are times when I make extra and we have for dinner what the, nice. that the people will be having. Yeah. It's always day. easy to cook double recipes yes. and then just. So now, um, I suppose you have a pretty good network of friends or people that, I mean, how many people in the Somerville community cooks? Like, do you ever kind of venture over to Cambridge or somewhere else, or is that? Well, what they try to do is because they try to stick to the motto of neighbors helping neighbors. Oh, you're oops. A, yeah, no, you're assigned, they try <laughs> to keep programs and teams from just one city. Okay. So I work... My where I cook for is in Davis Square. Okay. Um, if I lived in Cambridge, they would try to maybe set me up with someone in Central Square or an organization in Cambridge, so that okay. you're, you're providing direct assistance to the na uh, neighborhood. But the thing here that's interesting, and now actually we have a couple images to kind of yes. give you an idea of the faces of community cooks. Yeah, if you want to do that. So these are some of the people. I, I think these might be local people, maybe yes. not. Um, is that you know you can cook in your own kitchen, mm -hmm. right? So that's another thing because I was wondering you know these people are obviously look at how happy they are mm -hmm. cooking in their own kitchens, which is half the thing because you can turn on your own music, do your exactly. own thing. You don't have to go to like a uh, industrial kitchen for this. Right, you don't have to dress up. You don't have to dress up. You can wear your pajamas, and uh, it's all helping uh, local organizations. Now, so these are um, a list of some of the uh, partners that yes. you do have currently. Um, which is great. I see a couple of local ones on there, but this is wonderful. So, um, so who directly? So you've got Somerville um, Homeless Coalition. Are there other ones? Um, so partners specifically local. Riverside Day Treatment Services okay. on College Ave. Mm -hmm. Caspar on Highland Ave. So the Cambridge and Somerville. Mm -hmm. I forget what the rest of it stands for. Okay. Um, and I know they've started now in, in Lowell. They have the Lowell transition, so um, victim of domestic domestic violence. They have a shelter there that the company that uh, Community Cooks works with. Mm -hmm. So um, that's impressive. So um, you've got, as we showed, a few of the partners mm -hmm. there. But you have what 300 plus volunteers, mm -hmm. 20 Boston area towns yes. supported, 25 direct serve partner agencies. You deliver about 70 meals per month. Yes. And in 2011, donated 9,300 volunteer hours and $45,600 worth of groceries. Yes. Wow, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I um, I'm wondering, like, so are what are the parameters for people applying? You know, like obviously we're saying, like, um, for example, do you ever get people? That are like families that think, oh, you're gonna come, you're gonna cook meals for me. You obviously direct them to yes. the appropriate organization. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're home, 
and you think this might be some service that you would be able to benefit from, by all means, don't, don't you know, contact me yeah. or contact Community Cooks and ask them, and you can put them in touch yeah. with an organization. Because I know, you know, the winter months, there's a lot going on. A lot of groceries cost a lot. Mm -hmm. Heat costs a lot. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices. So right. I think it's an important time um, to do that. So you, you will direct them to the correct yes. person. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And as far as that's, everything is confidential. I mean, yes. obviously these partnerships are, you know, very local like organizations. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with it. But, um, yeah, that's definitely. I just think it's one of those things where, um, you know, I think it's, I mean, what do you get Obviously, I know the answer to this question. It's a loaded yeah. question, but like, what is the best thing about doing what you do? You know. Um, so I've always wanted to help more, uh, help more than I do, yeah. and I just feel like they make it so easy. Yeah. They just—it's almost as if there's no excuse. So <laughs> it kind of—it forces me to do what I really want to do and to make the time for it because, um, and I—I I get. A sense of joy in knowing that I'm helping someone, and that you yeah. know. Cause do you do you ever get anyone any response back? I mean, I know because you're technically you know you're just dropping off to the homeless coalition or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but do you ever get like, oh, that was a great salad, or I we, mean, you know, we do um, from time to time, particularly any of the youth organizations. Or mm -hmm. I know when I had cooked for the Lowell Transition Home, they had kids who wrote a thank you note as their like after school project. So yeah. that was really, you, it, it makes it real. It's, they're not just this organization. It was, a, you know, these kids who yeah. took the time to color in and send a card to us. That's great. Yeah. So now, just out of curiosity, because I know obviously Somerville has a lot of very innovative businesses. There's, um, you know, Kitchen Inc. Like, mm -hmm. do you ever do any sort of partnerships with we groups don't. or no? And okay. To hmm. me, sometimes during the holidays, it, that would lend itself well because we sometimes go off script a little. Um, yeah. So if that there's a program that's having, say, a big event for the holidays, and they're going to have, you know, on, it, whether it's on Thanksgiving that they're opening up their doors. Yep. We might, you know, they might ask people to make an extra meal. But to me, something like the Kitchen Inc. would be a great place for people to you get more people cooking larger meals. Well, that's what I was wondering because you know? I mean, you probably have developed like this community. You, you know, other community cooks, right? Yes. Do you guys socialize? Um, well, <laughs> not that I join it, but you know, no, no. Um, I actually have two friends that I cook with, and we make it our monthly kind of get together chat session. Yes, exactly. Whether you know, some people do book club, and this is what we do. Um, and we invited some of the other members of our team who we have no idea who they are over. So we're going to hopefully have a little little mingle. Yes. See how that yeah. goes. So yeah. what you all have to deliver on the same day? Yes. Oh, so did, we, you, did, did you plan that? Yeah, we planned that. And oh, so we get right. together, chat, cook, and then we, someone will deliver it. Nice. Yeah. So what is your favorite meal? Like what do you, what, what's your specialty? If I were to say, um, can I request you? Oh, well, I can't. Yes. But like can organizations, like I hear Elizabeth uh, Shaw Caffrey yeah. is a really good cook. They possibly could. We actually <laughs> wish we would get more feedback from the organizations. Yeah. I think sometimes they're hesitant to get picky because yeah. they're afraid it's going to go away. Um, <laughs> but I could see that. But yeah, but everybody wants to be cooking something that someone likes. Yeah, know, no. You know? you know, it's interesting. I actually um, I, I did a meal uh, through my office at the Elizabeth Peabody, or no, not Elizabeth Peabody, the, um, sorry, excuse me, the Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Brookline, and mm -hmm. um, it's where you know families come, their kids are going through cancer treatments, what have you, and it's this huge house in Brookline. It's gorgeous, and um, we similarly we planned a meal, and it, and it was interesting because one of the biggest things is you know 15 to 20 people. I don't know. I, I usually cook for one, two, yeah. you know, and or maybe four at a at a maximum, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, army style. So I had to you know con go to this gentleman who actually worked in the military and he was a cook in the military and so I just said okay well how do you calculate this and and so we made this big meal and then you know we served it and they were there and it was very hands-on so another great organization I'm not trying to take away yep, from Community yeah. Cooks but that's very like you're in this house and it's you know it's a little kind of so sobering you realize that people are going through mm -hmm. some challenging times and and you get the direct feedback but I there were a couple one item that we made I was like I don't know. I, I was like, I don't know if it's good. And yeah. you have this thing where you're like, wow, I yeah. wonder if it's good. You right. you want to give them something that they'll eat. Right. 
But you, uh, anyway, so I'm sure that's kind of fun. Well, I wonder if we could do like little, like, uh, We've talked about cards. Like, yes. Talked about, you know, like anonymous. anonymous. Yes, yeah, surveys. Was the salad too, you know, yeah. too much dressing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, I, um. I think that, that it's really interesting to cook in those large, I mean, do you have, here's another thing. Do you have assistants? So if someone at home says, okay, I'm going to do every Monday of the month, yeah. will, will there be someone that's going to be able to say, you know what, this is how you calculate out 15 to 16, you know, 20 people to get an idea, or do you just kind of go for it? You go, just go for it. Really? Yes. But you don't, okay, so that's, well, that's well, but we, I'm sure you could, people at home, if I you bet ask, you could contact yes, Cooks. Yes, if you can, like we do, but okay. most people, I'll say, this is a helpline. Yes, I've been leading a team. No one's asked for help yet, even though we always, like, we have a kind of a, a book of recipes, like go to's that we know. Oh, are and good. now do you provide that to the new volunteers? Not, on, only if asked. I, oh. We don't have, like, okay. a new volunteer welcome packet yet. That's something they're working We're on. We're working on it. Yeah, yes. no, because I think that would be mm -hmm. something that, again, taking the stress off of, like, wow, 15 to 20 yeah. people, who would I be able to contact to, to know a little bit more about that? So, um, gift. Of giving campaign was in the holiday season. Yes. Okay, how was that? How how did you make out there? Um, I they haven't given us a, fi a final tally yet. Okay. But. Okay. So what you were saying uh, uh, that a sixty dollar gift would cover the cost of a meal fifteen to eighteen people, yes. and then um, a gift of twenty five dollars could help feed fifteen members. Wait a minute. So a gift of twenty five could help feed fifteen members of the community for just the meat portion. Ah, uh, for just the meat portion. Okay, so. If you want to, say you don't want to cook, say you're absolutely not a cook person, that's completely fine. We accept that here at Greater Somerville. You can go to Community Cook's website, mm -hmm. and I would assume donate. I yes. mean, their gift of giving campaign is over. You missed that, but good news is you can donate at any time yes. during the year, so that's good. So tell me about some upcoming events you have. I understand you have, uh, you host a Taste of Fall yes. every fall. Tell me a little bit about that. That is the, the big fundraising event so uh, all of the cooks come of all the, uh, not just summer like everywhere yes, yeah everywhere okay. so all of the cooks come um and i just we just try to get businesses and just other people to just hear what we're doing see it there's a slideshow presentation um this past year it was down i believe in this it was in the seaport district have everything is yes. in the seaport uh, district yes. I feel like I go it, there all the time, but anyway, yes, go on. You, do. Yes. you probably are. <laughs> um, and it was just, you know, it's a different, it's a way for people to just learn more about us. Raise awareness. Uh, ra raise awareness, raise money, mm -hmm. and, and also get the cooks to meet because while it is easy to do in your home, it can also be a little isolating, so it's fun to get to know other people that you're... Now, do you have social events for the cooks or not? No. Look no. at these, all these ideas. Social events, yeah, little tally cards. Um, what now, right now, Blooms of Hope is donating a portion of every, oh, Every wreath, yes. yeah. Well, we missed that. Don't buy a wreath. No. Um, and you've got, so, I mean, but you, it seems as though, like, you've done um, some partnerships with, like, Diesel Cafe, yes. Commonwealth Coffee mm -hmm. at Cambridge Naturals. Tell me a little bit about that. I mean, that was obviously in the holiday season, but, you know, do you try to reach out to local businesses, not, say, the organization you're helping, right. but others to... Mm -hmm. Kind what, of co-promote. Okay. Um, so, I know Diesel Cafe already, they have their volunteer program or give back program similar to mm -hmm. uh, Flatbread, which also has, I believe, Tuesday nights or one Tuesday night a month. Flatbread, they do a lot of really yes, good stuff. Yes, they do. And so we've done events there so that a portion of every pizza sold. Now, is that every Monday or Tuesday night? Uh, they just pick an organization? Well, I think you have to apply to be part of it. Okay. So you apply and you've if done that yes. and that's been successful? Yes. Well, they have great pizza. Right, they have great and, pizza. And, I mean, great organization. And if you're a bowler, I mean, you it's know, great. You and as well. They also then, it's a way for other cooks to go kind of man a table and get more cooks yeah. to help volunteer. So it, it fills it both ways. We can get volunteers in as well as funds in. Yeah. Do you, well, do you accept donations of, like, food donations? How does that work? Because, I mean, if you're cooking in your kitchen. Yes. You know, I mean, say... We haven't explored okay, it yet. This is this is bizarre. People yeah. that know me are gonna laugh at this. So I am I'm kind of a vegetarian. Um, not by philosophy as much as I just don't I don't eat meat that much, except for every now and again. But I got a turkey given to me by a contractor. And I have this big frozen turkey in my freezer that it's just been sitting there since Thanksgiving. And I honestly 
don't know what I'm going to do with it because I'm like, well, I can't throw it out because, you know, you don't want to throw out a turkey. Yeah. So I was going to give it to the Summer of Homeless Coalition. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Where does this turkey go? I mean, I, you have to take yes. it. No, but um, I, I could walk across the street since yeah. we're neighbors. But uh, what happens to, like, I mean, uh, legitimately, this is a ridiculous request. Yeah. But, like, if somebody has, you know, maybe some of these um, local farmers have uh, yeah. produce or things like that. Like, um, I know Red, is it Red Fire? Red Fin, or is red, it red, fi red fire, red farm. fire, red fire farm, and there's a number of farms. You know, after the Union Square, mm -hmm. I don't know if they would be able to um, organize that. Is that something that community cooks would be willing to potentially? I think do that. There was a way to centralize it, and then cooks could come and kind of yeah. It could be like a central point where if there was you know donations Which, coming yes. in, you could go in and kind of Definitely. grab some ingredients. Come I mean, go, just, sh go shopping. I well, yeah, it's cooks. just an idea. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. those of you out there, all the yeah. farmers and everyone else, they're always looking for donations and anything else. Anyone want help? So, again, we're going to go over the contact information. We've got a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. So, um, website, www.communitycooksalloneword.org. You are Facebooking. Yes. Community Cooks. Just Community, community Cooks, cooks yes. right? Yep. And you're located. How many friends do you have on Facebook? How many likes? Is it a... A like page? It, it, well, it's only a couple of hundred. I think. Well, I yeah, okay. More. That's so, all right. Yes. You're all volunteers. Yes. I mean, yes. that's the thing. You need yes. some marketing. Yes. Do you have good t-shirts? That's always... No, we don't have t-shirts. See... That's what we need. Uh, no, yeah. I, the reason I ask that, I'm a you know, designer, but I will say that the Union, uh, Union Square Market, the Farmer's Market, oh, yeah. I love their t-shirts. They're amazing. They're really wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I actually have another t-shirt that I just got um, up in Davis Square, and I bought it for a friend. She just turned 30. And uh, Mara is her name, if she's watching, I doubt it. Uh, it says, Somerville is for lovers. And um, it's just so random. And, but anyway, Somerville being as hip as it is, right, we're the hippest yeah. city mm -hmm. out there, uh, we, you know, we kind of thrive on the good t-shirt, the funky urban yeah, t-shirt. So true. community cooks. We need one. I don't know. Just thinking about it. All these types of marketing ideas. Okay, so you guys are located one Summer Street, Somerville, Mass., um, so again, like if anyone had information or wanted to donate anything, you could go down there, you could go to the website, or you could email info at ccooks.org. And, um, you know, I think the big takeaway here is just really for those of you at home that are looking for a way to give back, um, I think, you know, I, I opened the show saying, you know, this is post-holiday season. Um, and and I'm victim to it too. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, oh my God, I got to give. I have all these organizations. Yeah. I have to give to this, give to this. And so it's like December 31st. I'm like online donating to all these places that I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, in reality, you know, there's 11 other months out of the year that um, people are really in need. And I think yeah. that the beauty of Community Cooks is, you know, you guys are a very steady stream of support yes. mm -hmm. for a lot of really amazing organizations, Somerville Homeless Coalition, all those. So. Um, I really think if you want to give back and you're looking for a flexible, easy way to do it, I think you should become a cook mm -hmm. and join the team of cooks, volunteer. You can even volunteer just to help with deliveries. Yep, we're going to always help from Union Square to all the different programs. Yep, and you can cook for special holiday meals and events. Yep. You can make cookies if you want. Mm -hmm. There's no limitation. Creativity. Yeah. Um, so coordinate your, your own community cook. You could get a group. Yes. So but you would have to commit, though, for the whole... You have to commit for four months. Four months, minimal yes. committal. So for you people that want to commit. Okay, so you have a starter kit flyers. Oh, it says you have a starter kit in here. I know. Whoops. Okay. Um, and all sorts of helpful hints for those who want to help program. So um, that's it. Get involved. Be a cook. Um, I'd like to thank our guest, Elizabeth Shaw Caffrey, for coming by Greater Somerville a second time tonight to let us know about the organization Community Cooks of Somerville. Um, I can't say enough about the people that volunteer for this organization and the organizations that it helps because it really makes um, our community a better place to be and it's people like this that um, really make it a wonderful place to live. So um, I thank you for that. And uh, please check out our Greater Somerville blog for all of tonight's contact information uh, from tonight's program. And I encourage all of you to find out more about Community um, Cooks on their website. Uh, www.communitycooks.org. So until next week, thank you to the viewers at home for watching. And as always, stay safe and stay informed. Good night, everyone. <laughs>